In the past few decades, vulture numbers in Botswana and South Africa have been falling due in part to accidental poisoning by farmers who were managing their fields with poisonous agrochemicals. But more recently, authorities in Botswana say vultures are being deliberately killed because as carrion eaters, they fly over carcasses which can lead rangers to poachers. Also, the bird's body parts are being used in traditional medicine, primarily in West Africa and Asia. Recent poisonings in South Africa and Botswana resulted in the deaths of over 150 endangered white-backed vultures. In both instances, the bird's body parts were removed. BirdLife Botswana CEO Mosheringanyi Kodzitse says it is the first incident of its kind reported in the country. For Botswana, this is, this is, this is the first time we received a record where uh, body parts have been harvested. Uh, not to say they couldn't have been before, but we, we haven't received any rep or reports. It's an eye opener for us because we are now thinking maybe this has been happening and not have been reported. On September 3rd, International Vulture Awareness Day, which was celebrated in Botswana on September 17, the message was, save the vulture, stop the misuse of agrochemicals to poison vultures. Kusitse says more must be done to educate people about the importance of vultures and is calling for the creation of a public awareness campaign. Conservationist Neil Fitt also says public education is key. The only way to tackle it, in my opinion, is education. And at the minute, um, uh, BirdLife Botswana, and I know lots of others, and Cheetah Conservation Botswana, and one or two others, are doing a really great job at children education. But they're not the people out in the bush and at the cattle post all the time these days. In 2019, more than 500 white-backed vultures were deliberately poisoned in Botswana and more than 2,000 have been killed by poachers and the use of agrochemicals over the past decade. Wildlife and National Parks Director Cabello Senyatso says his department is worried about the decline in vulture numbers. Um, so we are developing a, a, a vulture action plan that will bring all the pieces together. But even before getting to, to that um, uh, particular document, a strategic planning document, uh, the department has been doing some uh, interventions, um, including working with the Ministry of Agriculture, in encouraging them to uh, move away from particular uh, agrochemicals that, that we found to be toxic to, to wildlife. The white-backed vulture is on the International Union of Conservation of Nature's Red List of Critically Endangered Bird Species. Though it is difficult to get exact numbers, wildlife experts are reporting significant declines in local populations across Africa. From Kondi Sidube in Khaberon, Botswana, I'm Vincent McCory, VOA News, Washington.